What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video and today we're going to be bringing back the Beast Classes series that I had up on my channel and if you guys don't know what that is, it is the series where I bring you guys the setups that I've been playing Call of Duty with and that work well for me. Now these are not guaranteeing that these are going to be the magic classes for you guys, but I feel like they are worth sharing. So in today's setup we have the Ripper SMG AR Hybrid. I know I already did one of these classes for this weapon, but this one is different. This one is made for the sole purpose of slaying. I'll be using lethal streaks, which is something I don't very often do, but when I do, I make waves in the lobbies that I'm in. In no way am I saying I'm a pub stomper, and I know I'm not even close to it, but I'll usually be dominating the lobbies that I'm in. Now, what you're going to be watching in the background is two games of mine that I had with this class that I just went absolutely off with, but the thing that I love about this class is that if you play smart, you'll get some great gameplays, yes, but it's suited more so to the run and gun play style that I love. As you guys know, I cannot stand being stationary in any Call of Duty game, so this class is suited directly for me and anybody that has the same playstyle like me. So without any further ado, let's get right into the class setup. Now, of course, we're going to be having the Ripper as the primary weapon here. On the Ripper, I usually run a foregrip and a muzzle break as well as spectrum camo just to show off that beauty. Now, for secondary, I don't run any, and it's not really needed when you're running and gunning and then ducking through things for cover. So now let's move on to the lethal and the tactical. This is where I start to have a debate with myself. I like to have a lethal at least. Why? Because you can chuck a grenade in an area and get a kill or two, or you can use a grenade to do some pre-area scouting so that you don't run into an area blind. Now, my debate with this is the fact that I like my perk setup as is right now, and taking away one point leaves me with one extra point slot open, and in my opinion, one point perks are absolutely useless. Now, you guys may very well think differently of this, but in my opinion, there's not really that many one point perks that will actually do you any good, so that there creates creates a need for two points open for a perk that I would actually use. So that switches the need over from a grenade to the perks. Now that is a perfect segue to move over into what perks I use on this class. Now on this, I use sleight of hand for faster reloading. That is absolutely crucial in running gun situations. Agility, I absolutely hate the slow feeling that you have when you don't have it on. So I always keep that equipped. I always like to move faster when possible. Quick draw is another addition that I have. It's always crucial to have that first step in a gun fight, especially when it's needed in close quarter situations. Dead silence is another necessity for this class because you get to move silently like a ninja. Scavenger, I plan on staying alive very long whenever I use this, so I'm going to need to refill ammo here and there and not just pick up weapons. So that is the rundown of the perks on this class. Now as for streaks, I run the Dog, Battlehind, and Helo Pilot. Now at first, this was something that I wasn't too keen on, something that I really wasn't looking forward to, but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit, but after using them and getting them a couple times, I absolutely love them. They're the type of kill streaks that'll help you out tremendously getting kills, as well as keeping you safe while hunting for more on foot. So before we end this episode, let's just go with the pros and the cons of this class setup that I have here for you guys. The pros is really good for getting a decent amount of kills in a lobby. Chances are if you use this and you play the playstyle that I designed this for, you're going to end up dominating the lobby. It's easy to run and gun, which is something that I absolutely love, and if you're and kill confirmed, you'll be able to get your streaks extremely fast by playing objective and going for tags. As well as when you do that, it's an added bonus too because it helps you rank up a lot faster if you're still going for those levels. And finally, the dog acts as your wingman while the other streaks are up. Now, as for the cons, there are no secondary and lethal. If you need that, you can take a perk off so that you can have both of them, but if you're in some situations that really calls for it, you may be out of luck if you don't have them equipped. And the only thing other than that that I see are that not all the streaks are automatic. The Helo Pilot requires you to man it. While this is nice and it does help you get a lot of kills while using it, it doesn't perfect the maximization of the chances that you have to get kills. And what I mean by that is the optimal thing that you would need for that is you'd be on foot and all your automatic airstreaks would be giving you support from above. But I personally trust myself enough to run the Helo Pilot and be able to get enough kills with it. So that is something that I personally don't have to worry about. But if you do, I can see your concern. So that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did like this episode if you did like the beast classes that i gave you be sure to leave a like rating down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're OG like that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty content i have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys and as always i hope you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys tomorrow take care and peace